Hi everybody, um, I have just received my new Novridge SSP5 and I thought I would do an unboxing with you. Um, I have just opened it to make sure it's all okay, but everything is back in its normal place now. So let's go ahead. So you've got a magnetized flick here. Lift that up. And first we have manual. Manual is the uh, standard stuff you have. Nice thank you note in there, sort of what you can do with the gun, and what you can put on it. Uh, there's a QR code there if you want any more help online. And another one in the back there. Let's uh, go, that's not important. What's important is this. I mean, that is a nice pistol. Really nice grip. It's got a nice bit of weight to it, but it's not too heavy. And that there, that detail here, that is really nice. Outside, you have your Novich logo, and I'll see your serial number there. Picatinny rail here, where you put your scope cams or your torches on. And there's another little caliber sign there. Um, yeah, feels really nice to see what the slide's like. Yeah, that's nice. I've seen some people apparently have catches problems. Um, let's have a look, so. Um, well, no problem there. See a release of the uh, pistol. It's very nice. You've got your nice sights there. Yeah, overall, it's a really nice feeling gun. It's quite sharp there. You can really, really, that edge there is mega sharp. I think I even say in one of the videos, you can tell it's CNC made because that is sharp as. Uh, obviously the barrel, really, really nice. You know, nice fluted barrel. Yeah, it's a lovely gun. I've got a bit of uh, paint on it now because my hands are filthy. Give that a wipe in a minute. Put that back and see what else in the uh, see what else in the box. Right. Magazine. I think these are the uh, SSP one magazines. This is my first actual riff from Novrich. Um, but yeah, from what I can see, it's actually really good quality. Uh, yeah, nice. It's quite quite weighty as well. Uh, we also get a Novrich valve key. So there's one for the fill valve and the exhaust valve. It's always handy to have one of these. If you want to tinker with your mags, I'll take it that is the Allen key for the TDC. So overall, packaging is nice. You know, this really, really, Really nice overall package. The pistol really does feel lovely. Very, very nice. It's very well balanced, even though it's quite a long pistol. It is quite well balanced by what I can feel of it. I'll put a magazine in it, shall I? No wobble. Tiny, you got, you got a millimetre of wobble left to right. Backwards, forwards, nothing on moving the gun there. That's fantastic. There is a bit of gas in that, so we'll cock it. Or so that is it now back. You got a purple rubber in there. Let's see what she's like. Very nice. God, that is literally no recoil. 
quick. Very nice. Okay, cool. We'll uh, get to the chrono in. Okay, so I've charged up the magazines for five seconds with this gas. This is green gas. I have only got green gas and red gas. This test is also going to be done in FPS because I'm from the UK. That is what I use to gauge it. And we will start with the point twos. Turn the chrono on. Just got to set it to point twos. Okay, there we go. So this also, the hop has been set to point three sixes. So it hops three sixes for me. Three four one. Three three seven. Three three three. Three three three. Three two eight. Three two nine. Three two eight. Three two four. Three two four. Three two two. And there's the ten shots with the point twos, and it has locked back. I'll now change the chrono to freeze because I don't have two fives or two eights. So point threes it's set up for. And again, we will do another, I think it's nine or 10 shots. Okay, so point threes. 296. 293. 287. 284, 284, 281, 279, 278, 260. Again, locked back. There was only nine shots in that one. I'll take that out. And I now have 0.36s. Just got to change it on the chrono. Point three six, and here we go. Two six nine. Uh, this view, I think. I'm getting this on this magazine. I think it needs to be filed down a little bit. Yeah, you see, there's a couple of. I think the feed lips need a little bit of filing down. This is brand new. Um, I'll sort that out. Anything, just go. There we go. Two, six, nine. Two, six, two. Two, six, one. Two, six, four. Two, six, two. Two, six, three. Two, six, two. Two, six, two. Two, six, one. 259 and we have lock back again. I need to sort those feed lips out. But three sixes is very consistent. I'll now just get some fours. I've mistakenly used the uh, same magazine I need to sort out. So I'll just quickly put it onto point thought fours. And we're now on point fours. Two five seven. Two five two. Two five one. Two four nine. Two fifty. Two four three. Two four three, two four four, two four eight, and locked back again. It is quite a consistent gun. Again, just a little bit annoying. This is obviously a brand new mag. I've got to file that goddamn feed lip down, but it is what it is. Um, so 
the joule on the 0.4s is 1.14 so I think it's just over um, if you want to find out the joule limits get a chart and go back and obviously look at the FPS I'm showing you what it's doing on the weight and you'll be able to tell with, whether it's within the joules or not okay I'll now put some 0.43s just for shits and gigs. Point four threes. Uh, I haven't got it for four threes, I've only got four eights. Uh, so we'll keep on four, and you can see what the FPS is, but the jewel will be different. Um, but this is the FPS on point four threes. Two five three. Two four five. Two four four. Two three nine. Two four one. Two three eight. Two three eight. Two three nine. Two three eight. 237. It is a very consistent gun. I'm shooting probably a second within each other. It is quite consistent. It drops a little bit, but it does level out. Um, it's a very consistent gun. Okay, next thing is I'll uh, go and show you how it shoots. Okay, so I'm out here. Uh, I'm going to do 10 shots through this magazine. I think there's 10 shots in there. And I've got another magazine with some in there as well. Uh, so that metal sign over there is practically 50 meters away um, so we'll see how many times we can hit it so I'll turn the scope cam on and I will take my time because obviously you want to see if it's accurate or not it's a bit windy eh, as you can see with the tree Okay, so four out of nine. That's not bad considering it's just handheld. It's that mag. Yeah, the wind is picking up. So it is windy out here, um, I think I've got it about six, seven times. Okay, so I've just shown you it shooting 50 meters and I've also shown you showing shooting 25 meters. So I was shooting this 25 meters away. This here looks like it's 150 mil by 150 mil. I have a tape measure here, here. I'll measure it. Yes, one, 170. So the actual target is 125. Okay, so five inches. The square is five inches. So I fired 16 shots and I got nine in. Some of it was down to me, use error. I'm, uh, I'm not always the greatest shot, um, but nine out of 16 at 25 meters, that's a head size target. So that is not bad. Um, so yeah, she's pretty accurate. You got nine shots within a five inch square. That is quite accurate in my belief. So I'll show you as well. I am um, I repurposed. I had an old Mark 23 case from Tokyo Marui. 
I actually took out the foam insert from the Novich box and tucked it in here. So I manipulated it a little bit so I could fit two magazines in here. Also one in the gun as well. I've got room for my scope cams and my holster. And I can also put my speed loader in here as well. Just like that. And it all closes. So yeah, just in case you were thinking about what was going on here and it's not in the Novich box, it's only so I can just take this and I can just bring it out of this box and use it. Um, so that kind of wraps up the video on the SSP5. Again, I'll take it out. The holster's a great idea as well, by the way. Uh, but this gun, apart from, I did actually look on the magazines, so two of them had a number two on the feed lips. I'll see if I can show you. So you see there, on the feed lip there's a number one. So I think this was the first iteration, so this is why this one's sticking. Uh, so I need, to six, I need to sort that one out. But the other two, I'm not having any feed issues with, which is great. Um, I've just seen the Novich should have put the new feed lips that he'd had on all the magazines. But apart from that, this little adapter here is so slimline, you barely notice it. It goes on with three bolts, and I've used it on the holster a couple of times now, and it is brilliant. I've got my O-Light there that I want to put on there. Uh, so I'm going to use it predominantly when I use it for uh, CQB. Um, and I can't wait to take it out and really have a go of it. I will be bringing some gameplays with just this. I'm going to the jail in Rutland on, in October and I will be using probably just this. So I look forward to that video. Um, anyway, thank you guys. I thought I'd just do a video on the uh, FPS. Please like and subscribe. I'm going to be bringing you more videos about this riff and many other gameplays. So thanks very much. Bye-bye.